Hello there, I'm William from Music, and I just want to do a video on how to produce a song using Splice.com. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to be composing anything, I'm just going to be producing a song with the samples that I find on Splice and trying to be creative with it using effects and uh, editing on the on my Studio One uh, DAW. And I'm using Studio One version 5. I have the Sphere uh, monthly subscription. So th this way I can have all the, the bells and whistles that comes with Studio One. And I also have a Wave Sound Grid server, which helps me out because my my machine doesn't have very fast scores. So if I have a, one uh, track with too many plugins, it gets me in trouble very fast. And with the Sound Grid, I can offload some plugins to the Sound Grid server. So it's a great addition. So I'm uh, starting with a template in here on Studio One, and uh, I'm using the CLA NX to emulate uh, speakers on my headphones, but uh, you're not hearing this plugin. You're hearing just the master out without the, the inserts that I added on the listen bus. So I, I'm just using Vuzic Audio Connect to get the, the audio. Yeah, that's the test tone. The audio directly there because um, I'm using another sound card because of the way the sound grid server works. I cannot record at the same time that I listen to to, to the audio. So it's, it's a bit complicated, but uh, it's working. And uh, right now I got my, let me see my plugins that I got. I got a limiter. I got uh, the classic, what is it? The classic clipper from T-Rex and the limiter and then the span to check out the audio. Oh, there's a fly in my monitor. What an annoying thing. Okay. <laughs> I spray the fly. Go away. Dude. So let me show the span that I'm using. Oh, it's too many windows open. It's making me confusing things up here. What is that window? Come on. Here. So here is the span. I'm going to clip keep this in here because I'm going to be checking uh, almost all the time. So let's go to Splice application. You can notice here that I have my Splice bridge here loaded on my project already. So I can hear the Splice sounds directly into the Studio One. So it's going to be in stay in tempo. So let's adjust the tempo here. I'm going to try 136. Okay, so it's going to play everything in tempo now. Now I'll go to the Splice application. I'm going to search Soulful LED Vocal. And uh, before I found this one here. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you, boy. You bought all the good luck, good I like this one, but uh, I was thinking something more... I don't know, let me try some other ones. Come on, baby. Get on down. The only thing that I don't like about this browser on the application is that I can't search and uh, have it sorted by time, while in the browser I can. But uh, since I, I can't hear the, the device sound from the browser, it's a bit complicated. But I can switch it to the sound grid, wave sound grid here, and just go in the browser instead. It's a way to hear the sound grid server without having to change the audio interface. So it's loading loading the page. Sometimes it 
my dash lane application halts the load of the page. I don't know why. So let's try here. So full led vocal. And why, why I want to search for time? Because I want to see if I can find a complete audio track. So usually something like the, a minute or two, it's going to have all the, those five minutes ones are not good. And another thing that I can do here on, on the browser that I can't on the application is click on the waveform and have it played directly on that portion of the waveform. So it has a empty space here. I can click here and see here what's going on after the empty space. On the application, I can't do that. Ah, okay, the audio is not routing correctly. So I can hear, but you're, you're not going to be able to hear it. So let me go back to the application because the application is sending the audio to the splice bridge, which is sending to my capture device. But I can check in here if I find something better. Summertime, summertime, oh, summertime, 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 summertime. So here's, oh. a, here's an interesting uh, one, and it's on a package, so full vocals flows. So let's go to, the, to that pack. So I just click on the pack icon. And I can check if there is something different. All I want to do is text you. Maybe I got a crush. All I do is think about your dream, about your fan. Never leave you alone. I'll be so glad you can come home. I can press space to stop because it's going to keep looping if I don't press space. All I want to do is text you. Text you. Text you. Nah, that's not good. The only problem with this is that you can spend like a lot of time just trying to look for something, especially if you have something in your head already that you want to find. But then you can use the tags for that. So let's say I just want female voices. And sometimes I can find the a cappella here, a cappella, female. And that's going to help me find more ready tracks oh I mm, something is not working i don't know sometimes it does that i don't know why the truth the truth Oh, I, oh. I can see that the time is like one minute and two minutes. So it's probably because it's so long. It's I'm broken. I'm broken. I'm broken. I'm broken. I'm Maybe that's why it's not working. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow. I'm reaching out, but. <laughs> well, he's like, sit down, it's about to get heavy. Because those are very long samples, it's taking much longer to play. You're gonna live in the basement, we can make out with our faces. Those are very good samples, but I already used that on another project, so I want to keep looking for something different. See, it's not playing again. I don't know what it does that. But most of the time, time it actually works. You can pick me up an Alameda. Can I get an Uber to the jail? I pray to speak my mind when it's a made up. Risk a little bumpy on the beta. Nobody wants to be my mm, Nobody. That's a bit weird. <laughs> Even for me. So let's keep looking for something else. Well, if you touch my man, I'll get up on your back. Cause it's a nice hot day to hear a ball and crack. Got some dumb ideas, where'd you get those at? 
you can hear that it's 84 bits per minute, but since my project is 136, it's going nuts trying to, to play that back. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, let's see. So it's 84. 84, 84 times. Oops. 84 times 2 is 168. So you also can do like a drum embrace project and make it 168 and use the the vocal as it is. It's very fun to do that. I already did this on a on a song and it works great. But uh, what I'm trying to do here is some sort of techno-ish song. So I don't want to do it like that. So I have to watch the, we live in life. the time we're of in the basement. the song. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> well, he's like, sit down, it's about to get hit. So I'm going to try the first one that, that I found, which is this one. Sometimes the first one is the best one. I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm not sorry. And I'm going to I already download it, but I usually just click on the plus sign and it downloads. And uh, I can just move it there to my project. I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm not sad now. Sad now. Okay, file tempo is not set. That's why it's so s slow. The original file tempo is 105, so let's fix that. Sometimes it imports the tempo, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you, boy, you, boy, all ah, the good, good luck, good luck. It's very good. Now I'm going to use my wave sound grid to add a vocal chain. So I have already a, a key press that I press that adds a vocal chain for me. It takes a bit of a time to load everything. So noise I don't have to worry about. I'm going to remove my noise removal. And I'm going to just add one by one in here. So switch out sound grid. Then my CPU Z is going to drop. Oh, that's good. Much less. And it takes some seconds to start working because it's transferring to the to the other server. I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm not sad. I'm not jealous. Yeah. So you can see that with and without. I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm not sad now. Sad. The Jack Joseph Wick, I think that's the name. Uh, GGP. It, uh, it adds a lot of stuff to the vocal. I'm not jealous. Yes, I'm not sad now. Sad. Usually I use the alpha exciter. Let's see if it sounds better with it. I'm not jealous, yes, I'm not sad now. Then I'm going to use the MV2, which is going to adjust the low levels of the sound, the sound and also the high level. So it's two types of compressor in one. I'm not jealous, yes, I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you, boy, you, boy, all the good. In this case, it's not doing um, a lot of good, I think. Let's see. Oh, down in my soul, cry. That's why I was uh, always do the second compressor after that. Oh, down. I'm not jealous. Jealous. I'm not sad now. Sad now. I wish. And before everything, maybe I'm going to use a gate to remove a bit of the the noise. 
otherwise the compressor is going to get all the noise. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you, boy, you, boy, all the good luck, good luck. Sounds very good. Then I can use the real ADT to give a more spacious double of vocal effect. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now. And it's also adding a bit of grit in the process. So let me check where is it from coming from. I like it, but yes, I yes, I'm not sad now. Sad now. I wish you, boy, you, boy, all the good luck, good luck, and my. Jealous, jealous, I'm not sad now, sad now, I wish you boy, you boy, oh. Yeah, I think it's the real MK that's adding a bit of grit. I'm not going to bother about it right now because this is just the vocal and it's not going to happen right away. But uh, the greater thing about it is that it gives me a, something to start. So it's C minor, the key, the time is 126, the time I want. And uh, I can start looking, let's say, uh, something to start. I want some sound to start on. Let's select uh, background, C minor, and in tags, what I want is ambience. So let me try ambience. Uh, texture, texture maybe. Said that it doesn't keep the key. It would, would be easier if it keep it the key there. Okay, there's something producing noise here. Uh, I remember, I always put a gate after the studio rag because the... I, I don't remember which one of these ones can add a bit of noise sometimes. The silly is off the analog, which adds, just adds noise. <laughs> it's just silly. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you, boy. You bought all the good luck, good luck And my soul down, and my soul So okay, let's find some textures Okay, I found two check textures that I want to mix together. Um, just to start everything, there's just two guys in here. And I want to create now a delay and the effects channel. I'm going to call this delay. Oops. I also have a short key to add my delay not going to mess with that because it's already set the, the way I, I like
The last thing I'm going to worry about is the mix. So maybe if things are going to be a bit loud or not, then uh, I'll worry about that last. I'm going to use what's fading here. I don't know if there is a better way to crossfade in Studio One. Probably there is. Okay. And I'm going to use a filter. I like to use the meta filter. This one is not compatible with SoundGrade, so I just have to add in here. Not yet. Let's push this further away. So it's very simple, actually. So it's, go it's going to start very ambient. Um, there we go. A lot of delay. Just this high tone, I'm not very in love with it, so let me add another equalizer in here and tone it up, tone it down a bit. So okay, I just removed a bit of the high frequencies because they're starting to get annoying. And I want what I want to add now is the bass. Because it's just the the way I like to do. So a bass C minor. Then on the genre, I'm going to use I'm going to use techno. And on the tags, I'm going to put analog. You can see there's just 73 bases there, so it's not a lot of it. One thing you have to be careful, sometimes, like they, they put here, it's a C minor, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> so you have to use your, your ears, there is no way around that. I kind of like this one because I can uh, put it a bit uh, off tempo to make the kick and then the bass sound. 
So I'm going to download it and see if it's going to work. I'm going to start it right from the start. And I'm going to put a compressor on the base because I want it to have a more, well, compressed sound. <laughs> I also use CLA, there's other compressors, but I like the sound of it. I just also have to remind myself to turn off the analog if I change the preset. So it's a bit lower in volume now. I have to extend a bit the the background noise so it's consistent until I'm ready to drop the vocal and the, everything else. So now I need some hi hats. Of course, I have to change the genre to techno and the type. I'm going to use loops. I want something that's ready to use that has some movement to it. So that's it. Too basic. Let me see my tags in here. UK Garage. Let's see what is that. It's been a while since I listened to that. <laughs> this sounds like a laundry machine working. I kind of like these, but not for the hi-hats. But I'm going to download anyway. So let's hear that. So now it's the time to offset the base. Then I can cut this out. Uh, where is it now? Good is now and just have the just that. But uh, what I'm going to do is keep it for hats. 
Nah. That's no good. Okay, so the garage to have just a few ones. Let's see what else I can get. So let's start in here. So something like that. Let me put some variations to the kick. And then continue. So we have one, two, three, four measures. Then four more measures okay, here. Something like this. It's not exactly what I had in mind. So sometimes you have to go back and find something else. But I'm going to continue looking some Hi hats. Like this. And you can bam left and right. Yeah, I kind of like it. it. Sounds okay. But what I had in mind was a bit different. Let's see if I can make it. Kind of works. It's not great. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute. I have something going the wrong way in here. Yeah. That's why it's sounding so strange. Because it's wrong. there oh 
okay. But I'm not very happy with this base. I want something more, more movement. Uh, let's try something else. One thing that you can do, we know that's C minor, but uh, there's other uh, chords that can go with C minor. But uh, I'm going to just stick with that for now. Well, it's not playing. Let me check my tags. Future base, quantum base. Back house, maybe. Try best base filter. Maybe I'm more lucky that way. Not for the bass, but to play along with the possible vocal. I just keep have to looking for the bass. When you have something in your mind, sometimes it can be hard to find. the one but I still wanted a bit more grit to it but uh, I'll figure a way to make it work
Okay, so let me adduce a few things. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me add a lay to the guy. And now the base is too strong. Well, how do I open? So I have to use a compressor with a side chain. So here's my kick. Let, let me put names on the tracks so it's easier to see what's going on. Into pulse, into pad. Interbase. Kick. My hats. Open hats. It's just easier to see, to understand what's going on. Let me put the base next to the kick. And uh, what I'm doing now is a bit of mixing along the side with everything else, but uh, I need to do it now, otherwise it gets confusing in terms of sound after, so I can hear. So it's my bass, it's my kick. The bass is much higher than the kick. What's, what I'm going to do is adjust the kick first. So in my kick. I'm going to add a sound rack. So I can use the sound grid. I'm going to use something called Smack Attack. Just going to allow me to choose how bulky the kick is. I can go here and do that. That looks much better. Then I have a compressor that's a master bus compressor, which I can check for the volume. Wow, it's very loud. So let's adjust the volume of the kick, and everything else is going to follow the kick. It's a bit strange, but it works. Thank you. 
for now on the bass and I'm going to make the two to sidechain the bass so I'm just going to send the kick to the sidechain of the bass where is the bass uh, bass is side compressor side gain up Filter bit to remove the hi hat sound. Let's hear the hi hats. It has a good volume. I like to do this. I like to do this now because I want everything to to, to stay stick together, you know. So those are good volumes. Take all these kicks and create oops, that's no good. How do I select it? I forget how to select the objects. I think that's it. So it's missing just one. Yes, that one. So let me bounce that. I think it's a clean bounce. So now I have my kick track, which I can just duplicate it. Just like that. It's just easier to do like that. Kind of works.
Fresh sounds now. Ah, the first one's perfect. But let's make this crossfade. Let's see what happens. So let's put almost double this the time. And we leave a we leave a gap so it's more aggressive. Now I want to check the volume of those guys there, the intro sounds. It's a bit loud.
to bounce the sim the crashes so it's easier to copy and place in the right position like this position here I'm not careless, careless. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you boy, you boy, all the good. So let me add an effect that I like to use. So let me remove this guy here. So two two effects I like to use. So first, I'm going to make the the auto tune in real time because it's easier to set up and get the result that I want. So it's C minor and it's my transition very low, so it makes a very clean robotic sound. So we see it's not the one way anymore. Always get a fuser if they want your minor because you see there's no D. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So let's make like this. I'm just telling you which nodes it should be using. Yes. That's more in tune, so you can hear that the C minor that the vocal is using, it's a bit off. It's a bit of pain in the ass, but uh, it can be fixed, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to use the tape emulation for Arturia. It was free some time ago, and I really like it because you can add the wear option, which adds some interesting grit to, this, to the audio. I'm not Kinda good. So let me see another thing I want to search some whoosh sounds. Uh, I don't think it spells like that. I like this to add to the drum sounds. I was looking for something and found something else. That's normal. So let me put in here in here. I'm not jealous, jealous. I'm not sad now, sad now. I wish you boy, you boy. Well, we can equalize this to sound a bit better. I'm just going to use an exciter because it usually does what I want. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so let's see what I have now. I'm not jealous. So we have 
have some very basic stuff in here now. What you need to do is start adding the touches that make a song interesting. <laughs> Trying to find something that adds to the sound a bit. Because right now it's very basic. Oh, I remember now. Arpeggiator. That's the one I'm looking for. When you want some movement to the song, just add an arpeggiator. And it should add something interesting. Like this one. So I'm going to replace this other guy here for that instead. And uh, let's see how that sounds. Well, the splice should play. That's a bug. <laughs> to add the meta filter which is going to add some extra movement to the arpeggiator See that I saved the song with another name because if the file groups, I don't lose everything. It's always good to do that. how it fits during this transition of the first part which is you have to always be careful to stop the the audio of something that's playing otherwise it's a mess because it's going to, to play something it starts playing along so I'm going to add this in here and see what <laughs>
searching before it goes to the oppressor and everything else. Check my monitor. That's my monitor. I have two uh, monitors, that's why I get confused at times. Okay, it's much better. I know it's a bit weird to doing some mastering and mixing during the the composition but it's just the way I, I like to do it so let me hear this from this part again Just copying and paste a few areas that I want to make it repeat and uh, have something interesting going on. This is fun. We have one minute and 40 seconds of a track. And uh, I'm thinking to add some, some percussion, but uh, not regular percussion, just some crazy percussions. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of stuff. 33,000 percussions. So I'm going to put type loops so it's easier to, to use. Oh, that's great. Then I can add a lot of delay and have something very different going on. That was what I'm looking for. Right here, right here. I'm going to add a bit of fade in and fade out and then a lot of delay mm. 
No, it doesn't go very well. Maybe something else. <laughs> this is so basic. But I actually like. Maybe I put less delay this time. And do something different. Let's let's try this one. But with less delay. That's the one, but um, I'm going to use an exciter to bring the the sound a bit to the bright levels. Doesn't have a lot of stuff to, to excite. a bit this guy think you can do it better right on the start but it's a bit hard to search so conversation something like that uh, I don't know if I'm going to find it what's that instruments vocals then filters out everything precisely Precisely. Quatre. Quatre. Zen. Shit. 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 <laughs> so, live sounds, words, Japanese, Spanish phrases, characters. Eh. Let's try live sounds. How? It's the same guy. I was hoping to find two people talking to each other, but I don't know how to search for that. Yeah. Uh, 
Let me try to just talk. Baby. Uh, come on. Stop playing. Talk, talk, talk. Talk, talk, talk. You just talk, talk, talk. You just talk, talk. Wir fahren rundherum. Wir. Mm, this is very good. I really dig this one. But I have to remove the tempo, otherwise it's going to make it very fast. So let's see. Tempo. Not set. Okay. Then I'm going to stop it right at. So I'm not going to put any extra delay on it. And I'm going to time stretch it. very good Talk. we got to fight we got to fight for the right to love so hey dude you get yours get you hey dude you get yours get you hey dude you Ah, this is very good too. To add some eighties vibe, in my opinion. So let's see what how long is that? Oh, it's very long. Okay, this is interesting. Hey, dude, you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. Get your money. Take your winnings and go home. So, what do I want to do in this one? I'm going to mess it up.
let's start with JGP. Let's see. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Okay, but I want to also mess with it. Do enough it. Work, but let's try. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And get your money. Take your winnings and go home. <laughs> I like this. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. Much excitement, and I went to use a vocal bender to bend the audio. Where is it? And it's the bend out of the original audio. Hey, dude, you get yours, get yours, get yours, and get out, and get your money, take your winnings, and go home. Hey, dude, you get yours, get yours, get yours, and get out, and get your money, take your winnings, and go home. Get yours and get out and get your winnings and go home. Yeah, I kind of like it. Hey, dude, you get yours, get yours, get yours and get out and get your money. Take your winnings and go home. Hey, dude, if you get yours, get yours. Get yours and get out. And 
Okay, we have something going on here. I'm going to take a break and uh, come back to this at some point. But I like the result so far. Still needs a bit of mixing and mastering uh, because since I'm using just one monitor to do everything, it's a bit harder for me to get used to the way it works with just one monitor. Because usually I have everything on the other monitor and I just go looking and seeing if all levels, everything are right, because I don't really trust my ears. <laughs> and uh, okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.